Now let's try this question. The cubic equation 2z cube minus 5z square plus cz minus 5 equals 0, where c is a member of r, has a solution z equals 1 minus 2j. Find a, the other two solutions, and then b, the value of c. Let's solve this question together. So for this question, we are told that the cubic equation 2z cubed minus 5z squared plus cz minus 5 equals 0 has one of its solutions to be z equals 1 minus 2j. Now we are asked to find the other two solutions and then the value of c. Now to solve this question, there are two important things we need to know. The first one is the relationship between the coefficients of a cubic equation and the roots of a cubic equation. Now the general form of a cubic equation is given as az cube plus bz square plus cz plus d equals zero. And then we have a, b, c and d to be the coefficient of the cubic equation. Now let's call this equation one and let's call this equation two. So comparing the two equations, we have the value of a to be two. We have b to be negative five. We have c to be c. And then we have d to be equal to negative five. So let's write down this equation here so we have 2z cube minus 5z square plus cz minus 5 equals 0. now just as we have the roots of a quadratic equation to be alpha and beta the roots of a cubic equation are alpha beta and gamma so we have these to be the coefficients of the cubic equation And then the roots of the cubic equation to be alpha, beta, and gamma. Now, the second thing we need to know is that a cubic equation may have three real roots or at least one real root and two complex roots. Now, for this particular question, we are being told that one of the solutions or one of the roots of this cubic equation is 1 minus 2j which is a complex root so what this primarily means is that for this particular cubic equation we have one real root and then two complex roots now if a cubic equation has two complex roots then one of the roots is basically the complex conjugate of the other so given that one of the complex roots is 1 minus 2j then it means that the second complex root will be 1 plus 2j that is the complex conjugate of the first root now since we have alpha beta and gamma to represent the roots of the cubic equation then we can assume that alpha is equal to 1 minus 2j and then beta which is the complex conjugate of this will be 1 plus 2j which means that we are left to find out the value of gamma so asking us to find the other two solutions we've been able to find one of the solutions and we are left with the other one and this one happens to be the real root. so let's find the value of gamma so even before we move on to find the value of gamma there are three important equations we need to familiarize ourselves with so the first one is the sum of roots so the sum of roots of a cubic equation is given by alpha plus beta plus gamma equals negative b over a let's call this equation one for the second one we have the sum of roots that is taking two at a time taking two at a time so that is also given by 
alpha times beta plus beta times gamma plus gamma times alpha and that is also equal to c over a let's call this equation two and for the third one that is the product of roots that is also given by alpha times beta times gamma equals negative d over a so we are going to use any of these three equations to find the value of gamma and then to move on to find the value of c so first of all let's find the value of gamma to find the value of gamma we are going to use equation one so for equation one we have alpha plus beta plus gamma equals negative b over a we have alpha to be 1 minus 2j and then we have beta to be 1 plus 2j and we are going to find the value of gamma also for the cubic equation we have the coefficients to be 2 negative 5 c and then negative 5 so we have a to be 2 b to be negative 5 c equals c and then d to be equal to negative 5 so let's substitute the respective values into this equation to find the value of gamma so we have alpha to be 1 minus 2j so 1 minus 2j plus beta 1 plus 2j plus gamma equals negative b so that is negative into bracket negative 5 divided by a which is 2 now let's simplify we have 1 minus 2j plus 1 plus 2j plus gamma equals 5 over 2 negative 2j cancels out 2j so we have gamma plus 2 equals 5 divided by 2 we transpose 2 to the right hand side so that we have gamma equals 5 divided by 2 minus 2 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 so 2.5 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.5 and that is equal to 1 over 2 therefore we have gamma equals 1 over 2 so for the other two solutions we have beta which is equal to let's say z2 equals 1 plus 2j and then for gamma which is equal to z3 to be equal to 1 over 2 now let's move on to b so for b we are asked to find the value of c now back to this page to find the value of c we can use equation 2 that is the sum of roots taking two at a time so from equation 2 we have alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equals c over a now let's substitute the respective values in here to find the value of c so we have alpha to be 1 minus 2j times beta 1 plus 2j plus we have beta 1 plus 2j we have gamma 1 over 2 plus gamma 1 over 2 times alpha 1 minus 2j now let's simplify the terms on the left hand side so on the left hand side we have 1 times 1 which is 1 1 times 2j is 2j negative 2j times 1 is negative 2j so they cancel out and then we have negative 2 times 2 which is negative 4 j times j is j square which is equal to negative 1 so that becomes 1 plus 4 plus 1 times half is half 2j times half is j plus 
half times one is half half times negative two j is negative j so this becomes j cancels out negative j we have one plus four which is five plus half five and half plus half six so we have the left hand side to be six therefore we have six equals c over a we know the value of a to be two so we have six equals c over two we cross multiply and then we have c equals two times six which is equal to 12 therefore the value of c is equal to 12